Hello everyone. This channel provides the latest information on the Three Gorges Dam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. Everyone loves the Three Gorges Dam. As of 7 a.m. local time in China on October 25th, the water level of the Three Gorges Dam was 167.22 meters, a rise of nearly 3 meters compared to the water level on the 17th of this month. Looking at this dam from the upstream side, the water level seems to be around the line indicated. As of 3 p.m., the flow rate at the upstream observation station was 7,990 cubic meters per second, and the inflow to the Three Gorges Dam was 8,000 cubic meters per second. Therefore, after subtraction, the total value from around the dam and from the tributaries was 10 cubic meters per second. Compared to two weeks ago, the inflows at both the upstream observation station and the Three Gorges Dam are at even lower levels. As of 7 a.m. the total discharge from the Three Gorges Dam was 7,000 cubic meters per second. The maximum hydroelectric discharge capacity at the dam is 31,000 cubic meters per second, so the Three Gorges Dam is estimated to be at 23% capacity, with seven hydroelectric turbines in operation. As the inflow to the dam is decreasing they continue to significantly reduce the discharge. Nishi Yang Channel Let's check the information on the Three Gorges Dam released by the Hunan Provincial Hydrological Bureau of China. As of the third of this month, they have almost stopped adjusting the discharge volume, as shown in black. The inflow volume shown in green has decreased recently, but it still exceeds the discharge volume, so the water level of the dam is gradually rising. However, at this time of year, the water level is usually close to 175 meters, so there is still a difference of about 8 meters. This is proof that this year is in an abnormal situation due to drought. The fact that the amount of discharge remains unchanged throughout the day indicates that the amount of electricity generated remains low from morning to night. Well, Reuters announced that the damage caused by natural disasters in China this summer was about $32.3 billion. Typhoon Yagi, which passed over the southern resort island of Hainan, and Typhoon Babinka, which hit Shanghai, dealt a major blow. The damage amount is more than twice the amount caused by the six months from January to June in just the three months from July to September, so it's an incredible amount. It's surprising that even with disasters of this magnitude, the human damage from each typhoon is very small. Will the Chinese government issue national bonds for reconstruction like they did last year? Either way, the impact on the already declining economy will be great. Meanwhile, Typhoon Charmy, 20, is now heading for Hainan Island. What's even more interesting is that its course after that seems to be quite wandering. In addition, the next typhoon can also be confirmed. Let's look at the 12-hour performance of Windy. This is the state up to 6 p.m. yesterday. There are some rain clouds, but the ground is only slightly damp. There is a band of clouds spreading from the west, but it doesn't have much impact. Even though it is the dry season according to the calendar, there has already been little rain. The Three Gorges Dam has three important roles flood control, power generation, and ship navigation. On the other hand, there are many issues to be solved, such as sedimentation caused by sand accumulating in reservoirs, destruction of the ecosystem and other environments, widespread climate change, cracks in concrete, and the ever-increasing garbage problem. They choose the optimal water level from the viewpoint of hydroelectric power generation, ship operation, etc., and continue to say that it is safe and secure, is that correct? In particular, I have doubts about the recent water level situation. As far as our channel has researched, the area covered by the Three Gorges Dam is the area indicated by the red line. Next, let's look at the future forecast. There are still no large rain clouds along the Yangtze River around the dam. The weather forecast for today at the Three Gorges Dam is cloudy with occasional sunny spells with a maximum temperature of 24 degrees Celsius and a minimum temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. As with last time, the minimum temperature is 11 degrees Celsius, so it seems that the temperature has dropped quite a bit. As the flow rate upstream seems to be decreasing, 
it is expected that the inflow to the Three Gorges Dam will decrease again. Now, when you think of the Three Gorges Dam, many viewers probably have images of great floods and hydroelectric power generation. Surprisingly, it is also a popular tourist spot in China. It is reported that the number of visitors from January to June 2023 was 1.5 million, an increase of 50,000 from the same period in 2019, before the coronavirus. This is a photo taken during the long holidays. There is an observation deck overlooking the dam, but it is full of people. However, I would like to add that there are almost no foreigners seen before the infection. As the name suggests, the Three Gorges Dam is named Three Gorges because there are three canyons nearby. It's a scenic place, so it's a remote place surrounded by mountains and there's nothing around. It is surprising that an average of 8,300 people come to such a place every day. When I looked up the current entrance fee, it was 35 yuan for the basic course and 185 yuan for the optional set. When converted to dollars, it's about $5 to $25. I can understand if it's a famous attraction, but just seeing a dam that doesn't move is expensive. Sightseeing tours have been organized even before the dam was completed. I would like to go there at least once, but as you may have guessed, there is a possibility that I will be detained, so I won't go. Construction of China's Three Gorges Dam began in 1993 and was completed in 2009, making it one of the largest dams in the world. The dam was built primarily to control floods, provide electricity, and improve water transportation. The Three Gorges Dam Power Plant, the world's largest, is located here, with a power generation capacity of 22.5 million kilowatts, and has contributed greatly to China's energy supply. On the other hand, there are many problems associated with dams, and during the flood season, people often talk about the possibility of dams collapsing, so I think many people are aware of this. This is a video that summarizes detailed information about the Three Gorges Dam, and is a popular video that has been viewed over 150,000 times so far, so please enjoy it. The URL is listed in the summary section. The flood season is coming to an end, and from now on, the amount of rain in China will become even less. In 2019 and 2020, heavy rains and floods continued, and there was talk of dams collapsing. On the other hand, there was a water shortage from 2022 to 2023, and there was an extremely low water level. Chinese meteorological authorities have announced the possibility of abnormal weather and high temperatures at an early stage. This year, as of June, large-scale floods occurred in southern China, but now the drought is becoming more severe. We will continue to provide you with the latest information, so please subscribe to our channel.